Okay, and here are the solar panels mounted. Have five of the Windy Nation solar panels right here mounted. Okay, and I'm going to come around and show you how I mounted them. I uh, just have uh, these temporary clips right here, but basically used Unistrut uh, to go across like this. And then you can see the mount, the satellite mount. So here's a better view like this. So you can see here's the satellite mount. So I have not mounted it in the holes yet. So it's still, it's pretty sturdy right now. Um, but basically use the bolts right here to put it on the Unistrut and created kind of this frame here. And we have the Unistrut pieces right here. So just a bolt. And they have these new plastic circular pieces like this that just slide into the Unistrut and uh, have that going all the way across, just like right here. We just have a break in the middle right here, because uh, it's not one solid piece, but basically it's uh, holding up pretty well, so I can actually adjust uh, this whole thing here, uh, depending on the time of year. So right now it's about 25 degrees right now, um, and I have the junction box mounted, so I just have a board uh, with U-bolts here. Okay, so you see that, just U-bolts. And then I just have a junction box, and I just put my wood backing right here. Okay, so you can see that. So I have that completed. And I'm laying my wire right now to determine uh, my wire run from my previous junction box. These are my grape solar panels here. Wow, it's getting sunny all of a sudden. Uh, but I have that, and then what I'm going to do over the next uh, couple hours is dig my trench right here. So I basically have a ground, a 12-volt line, and a 100-volt uh, uh, line. So the grape solar panels are on my 100-volt line. They go to my midnight uh, solar charge controller. And then I'm going to have an independent 12-volt uh, wiring. So when I get odds and end panels and stuff, like uh, this one right here, you can see this panel right here. This is a banged up panel from the late 1980s. I did some previous videos on it. But uh, basically this panel is uh, uh, 12 volt. Um, doesn't produce a lot of amps. I think only about 2 amps. So I'm probably not going to even get 20, 30 watts out of that. Uh, but basically, I'm going to set up another row here and use one of the 12 volt lines coming from this junction box to hook up one panel at a time as I get them. And then the Windy Nation will be part of that. Um, these are um, 100 watt pa panels, each of them right now. So, um, But basically, uh, just hook that up. So I'll have two rows of solar panels, this one here uh, and this one here. And I'll have that. Actually, I do have the pipe right here. So here it is right here. I'm probably going to see if I can stuff it in here. This is kind of an electrical conduit right here, but I had that out earlier. But yeah, I should have the trench, and I'll make another video as soon as I hook that up. So once again, five Windy Nation solar panels, about 100 volts um, on this line, uh, mounted to the satellite brackets. And uh, once again, this whole thing uh, probably costs... Oh, maybe $100, $150 just for this all, all the equipment here with shipping costs and the Unistrut and the pole mounts, um, so pretty cheap. And then I uh, got the junction box at Home Depot, so that's pretty cheap. Uh, wiring was pretty cheap. I think it was uh, $10 to $15 for all of this.